once luqman e hakim was asked about the best parts of the the uh, human body the best organs of the men uh, human body so luqman e hakim said that the heart and tongue are the best parts of men body so then he was asked about the worst parts of the human body so luqman e hakim said the heart and tongue so those they ask him this question they were very surprised they said that luqman when we ask you about the best parts of the body so you declared heart and tongue to be the best parts of the body so when we ask about the worst part of the body so then you again declared these thing how can the two the same thing be at the same time good and bad the best and the worst luqman hakim said yes when we use heart and tongue positively according to the Uh, the principle is according to the rules and regulation led by islam so then they are the best part of the body if we just preach islam if we enjoy goodness if we forbid evils to our tongue so then it, they are the good part of the body otherwise if we misuse them if we just use them in backbiting others abusing others just uh, speaking the, the the useless things idle things so then they are the the worst parts of the body so The Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is also uh, is also reported to have said, "Min azmil hasarat yom al qiyama an tara ataadag fi mizani qayrik." The people who will regret on the day of judgment, so the those they will regret the most on the day of judgment will be those when they see their good deeds in the name of amal of others. Who will be those people when they beg my dear Muslim brothers, when they abuse their Muslim brothers? when they misuse their tongue so then on the day of judgment the currency will be the good deeds and bad deeds so when we backbited someone when we abused someone so on the day of judgment some good deeds from our naam from our amal will be given to them if we haven't got enough sufficient good deeds so then their bad deeds will be included in our naam amal so in that way the people they will regret the more they will say we, what, what did we get by big biting them what did we get by by abusing them but today we lost our virtues today we lost our good deeds in the same way the heart there are some when we we've got hasad for other muslim when we have got the envy the ill will in our heart for others so on the day of judgment we will have to give them our good deeds so those people they will regret the most because they are the some sin for that they are they are known as gunah bil azzat they are the sins they haven't got any taste we don't get when we have got hasad for some muslim brothers so do we get anything nothing do we get any profit any benefit of that nothing so then why we are bad biting the muslims why we are abusing the others so just because of that according to the hadith if we do not misuse them if we control our heart and tongue so we can avoid so many things so may allah subhanahu wa taala just give me and, and you and all the muslim ummah the strength that we have control over our tongue and heart السلام عليكم ورحمه الله